All right, hey peeps and people, so hope everybody's having a wonderful day. What I'm gonna do today is I think you all is really gonna like this. Some a lot of y'all are uh, a while, a few videos ago, I showed that we got a little compact tracker that we thank the world of here at the family. It's a little Johnny Popper, it's a little John Deere 4300. And uh, the reason I got it is for a Swiss Army knife around the house and a farm for smaller compact work. Um, one of the things I bought this tractor for is I want to have something I can uh, level gravel. I can, I can uh, uh, do some erosion control and also start to fix some of our yards and stuff to make our yards a little better. And then have something that I could take out and use on a construction site at the mill or something like that. Just a handy little piece, a little Swiss Army knife. But the first item for this for Big John here after the after the loader got put on and stuff is we're gonna build us a land leveling grader box. So I got some strap iron thrown together, saved back from the some, from working at the mill there, and I'm gonna try to put a bunch of scrap iron together and turn it into something. Let's go check it out. All right, so here's here's I got some scrap iron thrown together. This is just stuff I've got from collected from taking equipment apart and stuff like that around here. Uh, this was from the uh, walls down a lumber room. That was from uh, uh, the old cant stacker. And this was from the ripsaw project. I'm gonna use that too. We're just gonna throw a bunch of scrap iron together. We've leveled our thingamabob out and we're gonna start building on this thing and uh, see what we come up with. One thing, it's gonna be done today period. Tomorrow, I'm going to be scraping dirt with it. Uh, we've been at her for about an hour and a half. We got her mocked up right quick. and uh, So we got her back piece, and then we got her front piece. And and I'm a little nervous. I might have them too short because they kind of need to put more dirt out there. But we'll see. Well, uh, we'll see. It's six foot wide on the inside. So it's making a six six foot scoop, and my tractor's five foot, a little less than five foot, so it's six inches on each side to scoop up outside the tires. Uh, we got a rack made for four center blocks. We can throw in there if we want. So now, I think uh, what we need to do is we need to get uh, our uh, <clears throat> frame hooked up for the, uh, for the three point hitch. Get it set on here, get it plumbed up and ready. I think I'm gonna go 10 or 11 inches off ground level with my lift arms. That's where I'm gonna put the center for the bottom pin on my lift arms. I think that's right. I looked on a tractor last night when I was at the house. That's what it looked like. So, uh, and then I got the other dimensions on the internet, like the. All right, we're about two and a half hours in. I'm trying to stay on schedule here. Uh, we got the hitch in. That's how I'm gonna do that. It ain't perfect, it ain't, you know, I might cut them off and drill me some holes at home later to pop my uh, my uh, lynch pins in. But I'm probably gonna leave the top one like this. I went ahead and drilled that, but I didn't want to spend, take the time that it knocked me out of the drill. So I got, I spent extra money on bolts to get a longer deal there and weld them on. So that's probably, wasn't the smartest idea, but I gotta keep moving, time's everything to me. So. Uh, there my rack i got my rack made for four cinder blocks but i don't think it's strong enough so i'm gonna put i started to cut that out and i thought i better do an update i'm gonna put that strap in there and kind of lock all that in together it'll help keep the cinder blocks from getting cockeyed it'll help from the cinder blocks bowing on that it, it'll help in a few different ways and really tie her together and make her strong without adding much weight and i think it's the last little bit of actual fabric of actual structural steel i'll put in after that i'll probably get rid of some of this stuff and get it out of my way so i got room to work and move uh and i'll probably to do uh probably bring a couple thick bars out and lay them down where i can just grab them with a plasma cutter and zap them off and make my uh, gussets as i go because i'll probably gusset some of my joints to make them a little stronger you know you know the overall's done but i'm gonna have to gusset and then do my finish welding and i should knock this thing out and with that son of a buck right there, finish welding ain't gonna take long. With that plasma cutter, the fitting ain't gonna take long. I tell you, them two machines really making a difference. Thank you guys. 
Well, I got busy doing the finish welding and uh, clean up the corners and stuff, and uh, I didn't cover getting it done in the mill. But we got it's closer to five hours and almost got five hours in it. The welding and trimming and stuff like that end up taking more time than necessary. I'm not going to paint it yet because I'm going to use it and see if there's any room for improvement. Uh, but if it works good this round, then I'll get the boys to clean it up and paint it. And then mommy can, or whoever can paint it up. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out though. I hope it works as good as it looks like it's going to work. Well, let me get this undone and take it off here and hook it up. See what she does. All right, here you go. Tight. 
Word up, it's gonna operate tight. Yep. These could have been a little bit longer. What do you think, buddy? These, these front ones? They could have come out about this much farther. Uh-huh. But all in all, it does break up and scoop. Now you can tell the difference. Now, I got a slot for four cinder blocks. So, I can fit one, two, three, four cinder blocks in there. And that'll make it scoop better if, if I get when I get into harder stuff. But what I intend on doing is I'll take the bucket and I'll scoop up sediment, say that's washed over the hill. So like, we live up on a hill, so we get this a lot. So you get like, rain come through, washes your sediment down, and then it builds up down here in the bottom. So my idea is a quick, efficient way, you take your bucket, you scoop all your loose up, scoop everything up loose, dump it up there, take your box and pull it back and get it smoothed out. In a, in a pretty quick stroke manner because you're carrying your loose with you. Carrying a pile loose with you to do your thing. So, all right, I'll get to use it, see what it does. Guys, welcome back to the grading box. Right now, Dad is testing it out and we got the cinder block, so now he's testing it out.
Okay, so we're, <clears throat> after I've played with this a little bit, I'll tell you what I'm learning. Uh, I'm working on water bars here. Um, I'll tell you what I'm learning. The distance from the front to the back of it is really nice because it makes it real predictable. Uh, it makes it natural, kind of like the greater, the road greater effect where you're bridging your uh, problem areas. It makes it real natural to uh, skip over the top of a bad area and fill in the low. And then uh, you can use your top link to shorten it up and pull harder on the front of this rig to dig down and make yourself some loose material to work with. Or if you got loose material and you're going to, and you're trying to do some fill work, you could lengthen your top link out and do more with the back of your box. Uh, or try to flatten it out perfectly flat and do a little bit of both. The center blocks make a big difference. It really, it almost makes it too aggressive. Uh, I probably ought to set up like a tarp strap system to where I can do two center blocks instead of the four when necessary and still be centered up weight wise so you can gouge it down one side or the other. Now I'm figuring my gut tells me when I get to doing soil work I'll just pull the center blocks off when we're working with freshly tilled dirt or something like that in a uh, yard or something when you're trying to level out a yard to get, get out the rough spots. Uh, but it, it works very well I have to say I, I still think the front wings could have been the front V could be a little bit longer like three inches on each side longer ish but that's not necessarily I'm not necessarily completely convinced of that it might be fine the way it is so but it's a very good it's six foot wide on the inside and it's a very good addition to big john here and uh i don't know what it, what what to build next so we'll, we'll see just comment down below if y'all don't care tell me some uh, some ideas you got i got an idea on maybe a uh, sprayer rig back there pto driven sprayer and maybe a weed eater rack or like uh, not just a sprayer, but maybe a weed eater rack with a cooler thing for your three-point hitch. So if you're doing fences or something like that, you can uh, carry your weed eater and your drinks and stuff like that. So when you go out for the day, you're going out for good. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. And then the, some of the yard tools I'm not real familiar with, so I'm not sure on what I need there as far as making a good yard. So if anybody wants to give me a little heads up there, it'd be nice. I should appreciate it. Uh, I guess that's it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, yeah, don't forget to smile and, uh, and have yourself a great day. Thank you all. Toodaloo. Later on.